So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is 11th episode of me building affiliate website using Django and Wagtail content management system. And today I'm going to take a look at the Wagtail content management system dashboard. I have finally managed to migrate all the database objects in the previous video. I also solved the no module error and everything seems to work just fine. And I hope that nothing will prevent me from logging into a Wagtail content management system dashboard and finally take a closer look. So without further ado, let's get into it. If you remember, we have created a URL specifically for Wagtail admin backend. We have actually created three paths. One is pointing to CMS, other one is pointing to documents, and the last one is pointing to pages. So let's explore those three pages and see how it looks like. First is CMS and it directly points me to a sign-in form and I guess I can use the same super user account I just created so I will type in my login information I will click sign in and it locked me into a content management system and it looks pretty darn good I mean the design is really minimalistic there's no much overhead it's really quick and out of the box I see a welcome page with an overview of how many pages I have created how many images I'm not sure if it's useful to know how many images I have, but hopefully I will be able to customize this welcome page with much more practical metrics, for example, how many views I got and etc. On the left side, there's a menu and I can probably search for everything. So let's try the full text search. I will just type in page, for example and apparently it searched through the pages and of course there's no page name page so it says sorry no page match page and it really looks through all the pages images documents and users very nice so since it looks through the users as well what happens if i try to look for myself nope still no pages interesting Okay, so it seems like the search works only for pages. So let's go into the pages page. Here I see that I have already one page existing. Welcome to your new Wagtail site. I will click on it and it seems like the page is public, it's live, but it is very confusing because I can either edit the page, view it live or copy, move, delete, unpublish or look through the history. And what's uh, confusing is this part because there seems to be a list of pages maybe that you can create inside your page so basically Wagtail works with the system of pages and there's no post like in a WordPress so if you want to let's say create a series of your blog post for example you will create I guess a page called blog post and inside this main blog post page you will create several other pages called for example block number one block number two etc but if this theory is true i would expect to see a create page button somewhere on this page but i don't see it so let's uh, look at how this page looks like yeah it's just simple headline with no content or styles what happened if i want to edit the page then we will see that we have just a single title and we are not able to add anything else we can promote the page by adding a slug which is the name of the page that will appear after domain block my slug uh -huh. so slug is something like a url of this page we can define the page title or show in the menus and in the settings tab we can edit the publishing date or set the page privacy to private okay so compared to wordpress there's not much settings to play with maybe it's a good thing i don't know but so far i like it because those settings are basically the must-have that everyone who wants to publish content will need just from the top of my head i might miss creating tags and categories that are very important for structuring your content but maybe there's other way and also i would love to add a content itself but i don't see any button that would allow me to add the body of the content i can just edit the headline 
So I will add two exclamation marks and save draft and click publish. So my headline was change and also saved and published. And it tells me that the root level is where I can add new sites to my vector installation. Page created here will not be accessible at any URL until they are associated with the site. If I want to add more pages to an existing site, create them as a children of the home page instead. Interesting. So let's go back to my post. Nope. Oh, there's a history. I can revert back to the previous version. I don't want to do that now. So okay, Webtail does not allow you to create the content out of the box. I think we have to expand those existing Wagtail models with additional content blocks or something like that. Let's look at the images. Uh, we don't have an image. Okay. And documents. I think documents behave similar to images. It's just a file that you can add as a snippet to your pages. So there's no document as well. Then we have reports. Uh, let's look at the reports. There's also a workflow for uh, moderators. This might be very useful once you hire a virtual assistant. Then we have locked pages. Uh -huh. It's very confusing. And I think what it does is it locks the content from the users that are not locked into your Vectail website. But it looks useful having a membership-like feature out of the box. Then we have site history of the all the activity that is happening on the site, which is also nice. And finally, let's go into settings page. Here we have the workflow next are workflow tasks then we have list of the users the groups which probably takes all the data from default Django user and groups tables then we have site next is collection what's the collection so collection is something like a way how to group your images or documents and once you group those images and documents you can assign a various level of permissions for example you can allow only a specific group of your visitors to see only a specific group of files and images it might come handy once you have a membership site and lastly there are redirects so it's really nice that you don't have to code all the redirects yourself but you can create it all inside the wagtail dashboard lastly there's a user profile i can set a picture for myself i can change the email password or notification preferences language preferences current time zone or change the last name or first name of my account it's really nice all right i guess other euros go straight to the pages or documents so i don't need to explore other paths that we have defined inside the euros.py and I have to say, I am really impressed with Wagtail content management system. It looks very polished. It's simple enough for most of the WordPress users to understand how to create the content. One thing is a little bit confusing is that I cannot edit or expand the default page. So I guess I need to fiddle with Wagtail content types a little bit before I can create my kind of content with the titles, with the H2 headers, with paragraphs, image blocks, or embedded videos. But once I figure out, I think I will be ready to slash out content very easily and I will be as productive as if I used WordPress content management system. So I will leave this research of how Wagtail work with the content models to the next video. So thank you for watching. If you want to support me in this journey and if you like this video, then give it a like, subscribe and see you in the next episode.